Hello guys, Awakening Animations here again with part 5 of making a stylized axe in Blender. So this is what I have. In the last part I left you guys with the assets here. Um, I only placed a few around. Um, I went through off screen and just placed all of them around here. Um, a nice thing that I noticed is even though these have different um, multi-resolution sculpting you can still join them together like that and still keep the detail which is cool I was kind of fearing that it wouldn't work like that and um, so what I did was I joined the parts here that are on the side and then I added a mirror modifier to the other side okay and I did the same thing with this piece here it's the only part that gets mirrored and don't forget this little piece here as well it's also a rock and that needs to be mirrored as well and yeah that's about all i did off screen i didn't sculpt any detail further on these rocks in fact just by scaling them in different axes they kind of change their form i like this one for example it's just um this one here that's been scale down in object mode and stuff and it just gave it a different form which is quite nice um once you scale things like that in object mode please remember to control a rotation and scale um and yeah that's it so in this part we're going to finish up this section here and hopefully get into sculpting the details on it and that leaves us finally with um, the final part where we're going to bake the multi-res detail onto these low-res forms for the um, the staff part because it's all going to be sculpted uh, this part because it's going to be sculpted and the blade actually because we're going to sculpt some um, all this kind of detail on it as well okay so Let's get started. The first thing I want to do here is fix these shapes. So on your side, you might see that this part here is more in. Doesn't look like it's holding here. I uh, accidentally manipulated that off screen. So I just grabbed it, proportional editing on, and just keep it on connected. Why not? And then you can kind of move this out and scale it up like I did just to conform to the shape a bit better okay um i did the same here this part here is originally something like that and i just grabbed these vertices here kind of pull them in and on the y just to close that gap a bit more <laughs> and we're going to do the same to other parts around here so um Maybe it would be better if we go into local view with the staff. So I just selected an object mode, hit num slash, forward slash, sorry, on the keyboard. And there we go. Okay. So um, I'm not too happy with the shape here. It looks kind of weak. Um, so I think to join this part and this part is going to be quite weird. So maybe we can. Just strengthen it around the back here. Um, and yeah. So the way we're gonna do that, as you can see, we've got a big square and some small square in a smaller square here. Maybe we should remove this one here. Dissolve edges. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. Sorry about that. The weather is not too good and I've got some sinus problems. So when it's raining, things are bad. Yeah. Uh, delete that. We don't want those faces anymore. And we're going to grab this edge loop here. And this edge loop here. And just control E, bridge it. So it should bridge it fine from the get go. Um, something like that seems okay, seems all good to me. 
that we could possibly do but I don't like this looping crap so let's just add one over here and kind of helps with that um, here as well I don't know this vertex here seems to be overstaying its welcome um, too heavy here creating that crease so proportional edit and off and I just want to kind of smooth that as much as possible it seems like this pass here is doing the same thing so we want that to be more quad like and kind of smooth out that section okay great so um, we've got that another piece that needs to be done here is this blade section so we need to go out of local mode and do this blade section so we still got this part here actually and some pieces to join up to there which is fine we can do that right now quick quick uh, I haven't figured out how we're gonna join this um, we can go from big to small why not but I think we need to select bottom face here so not this one like that one here okay and then this one X faces and things are gonna be happening here so control E bridge edge loops yeah okay things are happening so we can conform to this shape a bit better doing something like that I don't know it doesn't need to be perfect there we're gonna sculpt once again on to these details and yeah so finally we want to bring this piece here like that I'm just gonna bring it forward here kind of change the circular shape a bit here and bring this one kind of this way that because we want this shit to kind of oh shit, sorry we want this to kind of wrap around and hug front of the blade here definitely want some loops in here let me scale that up a bit yeah. okay so we got this kind of shape and all this weird rotating crap here so just with proportional editing let's rotate that kind of back a bit face x faces edge selection and extrude it in over here and what we can do is bring this edge out and we're gonna take this edge and take it in over there it might have been a bit too much okay and once again we want this stuff here to kind of hug things doesn't look like it's hugging anything to me here at the moment it just looks funky okay so we can add an edge loop in here so we can allow this thing to kind of hug stuff hug it hug it please So things are happening here, okay. Um, we're not as fast as we'd like it to, but it's still happening. It's happening. Okay, so I feel that somewhere here something went wrong and I was right. We got some vertex here. Doing some funky shit. Um, I need to remove clipping, bring that back and enable clipping again proportional edit and off and just bring this back into place here we don't want that kind of 
of stuff happening. Okay, bring the blade back. So, here we've got some more hugging issues in a way. Proportional editing, grab this one too, and let's bring that crap first. That's hugging. Gonna make these guys here hug a bit better. Come on, guys, we need to hug things, okay? Let's hug things. So, in here where we've got these holes, we need to hug things, please. Be friendly with each other. Okay, so getting things touching and more onto the surface here, just like we wanted. Um, and yeah, working our way towards the sculpting section. Um, here, this little tail crap thingy here. What's happening? Why are you so? So small G Y not G X not Y. Okay, so that's what's happening here. It's not coming out onto the surface enough. So something like that. Okay, so we've got these pieces connecting. It's just this one here still. Let's do that. And we're going to give this stuff some more depth with the sculpting tools. So I'll come with the inflate brush and add some depth here. So first things here, this part needs to come closer to the blade, proportional editing on, and let's do that. Okay. It needs to really come closer. Right here as well. Right. Come on, guys. Let's get closer to each other. Okay, we want some kind of touching here. Come on. Touch, touch, touch. Okay. Cool. That's getting there, it's getting there. Touch, bro. The bottom two piece. Okay. So let's quickly do this. X faces. Make sure those are intersecting well there. Then we can come and fix this problem. Okay, so there we've got those pieces wrapping around there now. Um, we can come and fix this curl here. So I rotated it a bit, rotate it from the top here and bring it out, rotate it some more, do the same here, rotate it from the top here, bring it out, okay, 
so their curl is kind of more towards that shape, which is good. That's what we want. We can grab this inner part. So I think, besides these other extra pieces, that things are looking good here, we need to find that piece here, okay, the fuck. So here we've got the double face thing happening. Seven. Bring you here. Bring it out on the Y. And now we're gonna work with this.
Okay, so once again, I'm really sorry for zoning out like that. Um, uh, I need to think, you know, um, sometimes more than others. And anyone who knows kind of or has been modeling for quite a while would understand that you get lost sometimes and need to figure things out some things are not making sense suddenly or some crap like that and you need to kill your brain to really figure out what's happening there Here we can bring it up this way now. Okay, so here we've got this kind of section going on top here. Uh, we can scale that part on Z just to give it some thickness. Oh, blah. This one to get this hugging effect, bring it down like that. Great, so that part is touching there. Um, we definitely need to kind of move this over for it to make sense. In the rock here. Somewhat like that, okay. Then we've got one more piece kind of doing that, so let's grab this face here. Let's see this one. Yeah. And we're going to extrude that, bring it out Yeah, And yeah, you can't move things around with proportional editing because it wants to grab everything along with it. So. It's better just to switch it off at that moment, and yeah. So, let's see here, let's drag this piece all the way here somewhere. Okay. Bring it in on the Y. Bring it somewhere in here. X face. So we've got that slight intersection there. Let's grab those edges. Just bring them down into that rock. It kind of disappears, and then we can add an edge loop in here and just add to that shape again. Somewhat like that. Okay. Cool. Now we've got this little piece coming up here easily. Done. Just grab this face here, and we're going to extrude that up this way. GY up. We call it each other there. I'm going to scale that down quite a bit, but maybe scale it out on the Y. Still give it some depth. And this part is just connecting right up there, actually. So let's extrude it one more time. Bring it this way somewhat. Uh, rotate it from this angle. From this angle. And then from this angle. Scale it on Z. 
extrude one more time and just bring that forwards. X faces. You never want to keep those faces there. Um, keep that in mind. And yeah, so now we're gonna just add to the shape again. Um, make it hug things once again. Something like that. We want this part to hug as well. So we're gonna bring that down. Here, this part's not hugging. We're gonna make that hug. That. So obviously we've got some difference here, that's fine, we'll come okay, so here there's something we can change as well, we can grab this face here, X faces, we can grab that edge loop there now and just bring this into the Y there and bring out on the X somewhat, scaling in, we've got something like that holding on there, that just means that we have to come and manipulate the side a bit better later on, but there we go, we've kind of got our wrapping stuff holding on every, holding on to everything here, um, the sculpting is going to make that much better, um, we can always come and refine some things here as well. We can did not need that actually. We got this one. And we can scale that XX. Oh Y Y. Scale XX. Z Z. Y Y. Nah. <laughs> so we're just gonna scale that from this angle here. Somewhat. Just to close that gap a bit there, so close that gap even more. Just select that edge here, and we can come and grab these two guys. And these two guys, we go back from this view, and just kind of bring them out like that. Some more. And yeah, that should be a bit better. Great, so now we can save this. Um, it seems like we're on 40 minutes again, so I won't do the sculpting here. Um, in the next part, we'll go through and do all the sculpting. So the sculpting for the um, staff, and then the sculpting for the blade. And finally, we'll prepare everything for baking, um, we'll put everything onto one UV map, and yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're almost done, and I'm excited to get textured and stuff, so see you guys in the next part, and once again, I hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial, bye.